different parts of physics have developed in different ways. The standard paradigm is we do some experiments, we make some observations, and we try to explain those observations using mathematical equations. The reason we use math is the observations typically show some kind of repetitive structure, some sort of pattern, and math is very good at describing patterns, and that's why we use equations. But there certainly are times when the math leads, not the observations. There are many examples where mathematical analysis comes to some idea, some prediction for what should actually be happening out there, and then we do the observation, we do the experiment, and lo and behold, at various times, the math is confirmed. It's a thrilling procedure whereby you do some equations on a piece of paper, and later on it's shown to actually reflect reality. That is the crowning moment for a theoretical physicist when that happens.